Hey guys! Oh my god! Who's making a video today? Me, me, I'm doing a video today. So I am doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here using my Smashbox Full Exposure palette that I got the other day. First time using it, so um, I guess you'll see my reaction to the palette live as I do this video. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the mess and seeing how I created this video and all my corny jokes and whatnot, um, please stay tuned and keep on watching. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye. So I already applied my foundation and my moisturizer. I went really lightly with the foundation only because I just came back from Florida and I got a mean tan and my foundation actually doesn't match my skin now so I actually have to go and buy a new foundation a darker color but um, I just added a little bit and then just whatever just put it all around um, so right now I'm just gonna start on my eyebrows so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wet and wild um, dark brown uh, was I I guess is the brow and liner pencil which is 99 cents and what I'm gonna do is let me see I'm just gonna outline underneath my brows and then just filling in any sparse like any empty gaps I might have because my eyebrows are really jacked up I was supposed to do them last night and I forgot. But I'm not filling in my brow with the pencil, I'm only outlining it, so. And I'm going very lightly. And don't worry if it looks sloppy, we're gonna go back and clean it up later. This eyebrow is a lot shorter than this eyebrow. So I've been trying to find a way to kind of like make them somewhat alike, but that's not going to happen, so I gotta deal with it. Then after I did the outline, I'm going to go in with this My City Color Bold Brow um, Eyebrow Powder. I got this at iMats. I'm using my... Um, flat brush from BH Cosmetics I'm gonna go in with there's two colors um, I can use either or but I kind of like this one because it's a little lighter than that one and I really don't like my eyebrows to be too dark so I'm just gonna fill that in my eyebrows don't really have a nat natural arch um, they're pretty much straight so I forced the arch when I'm doing the pencil and then I clean it in. I'm actually peeling. <laughs> I just noticed that I'm peeling. Oh, crap. All right. Yeah, that's why people should not get tans. Which I wasn't really trying. It was just the, I was outside in the sun and it was extremely hot. Okay, let's bypass that. All right, so I'm just going really lightly with the powder, filling in my brows. And I'm doing the same to this one. And I'm rushing through this. Usually this takes me a lot longer. Like that. And I, I naturally have thick eyebrows. So even when I get them done and they're thin, I still fill them in to a point where they still look thick. So um, after that, I'm going to take my Meron Pro Color Ring Concealer Palette. Looks like this, and I'm gonna go. I don't even know what this brush is called. This is the shadow brush that I got in my Naked Palette, but I use it for my brows. So um, I'm just gonna go in with this color here, which is almost the same color as my skin. And I'm just going to go under and just clean it up a little bit. And what this is going to do is going to make your eyebrows look a lot neater and cleaner. 
So even if you went too thick with the brows, you can clean it up with the concealer. Big difference, right? You'll do the same to this one. I mean, everybody has their own ways of doing their brows to each his own. If you have your own method, by all means, do what's comfortable for you. But this is kind of what I've gotten used to, like the technique that I've gotten used to and it actually works for me. So it might work for you. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get for now. So after I finish doing that, I take my clear mascara gel from e.l.f and I set it so that way they don't move. And I'm sorry if like the lighting is really bad. Like I'm still like the last video that I did, I wasn't really talking, so I couldn't really explain to you um, the whole background thing being that I've moved and um, you know, I'm no longer filming in my bedroom and I'm in a whole new house and the, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to set up my station, where I'm going to start filming my videos, you know, all that good stuff. So, um, hopefully soon the lighting will be a lot better. Okay. So now that the eyebrows are done, I'm going to, uh, add my concealer. So this concealer I got from one of my Ipsy bags. It's called the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer. Um, I like it. It's really thick. The only thing is I don't think that it matches me that well, especially now that I have a tan. I think it's a little too white, but I'm gonna use it anyway, just a little bit. And the only thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dab it, cause it kind of might work for like a highlighter. Kind of brighten up my eyes a little bit. And I'm only going to use a little bit because I'm going to use another concealer after. Now I'm going to go in with my extra, uh, extra lasting concealer from Avon. I like this. The only thing I don't like about it is that when I apply, it burns my eyes. So, yeah, that's not, like right now it's starting to sting, which is not good. So now I'm just going to... Blend this in. And I'm going to do the same to this eye. I'm gonna set it with my um this is the the name isn't even on but this is the stay matte from um Remel setting powder in silky beige it looks like this I need a new one I'm gonna go in with my face brush from BH and just set everything So. 
Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer from this is the NYC uh, bronzer in Sunny. I'm gonna use my Makeup Geek rounded blush brush to apply this. So this is what the color looks like. I really wish the lighting was better. I think if I was to position my camera the other way, it would look better. The only thing is that I have so much stuff in the background that it will probably distract the whole entire video. I will figure it out somehow. Um, okay, now the fun part. Now we're going to start the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom this in a little bit. Zoom that out too much. Okay. I'm going in with my full exposure eyeshadow palette from Smashbox. I have not used this yet. This is the first time. So I'm also using the mascara that it came with. I'm going to tell you right now, um, if I feel like my eyelashes are too dull looking, I will go in with three more. So, let's start. I'm going to first prime my eyes with NYX um, eyeshadow base in the cream color. I'm going to apply this on my eye. I have a feeling this is going to be a really long video. I'm going to use the brush that the palette came with. These are the colors. Look how pretty. And they're really pigmented. Look crazy, right? Alright. Now I'm going to. I don't even know what I'm going to colors I'm going to use yet. So. Um, I'm gonna go in with probably these four colors here and I guess to add some depth I'll use the brown and the black so I'm gonna start with this peachy color gonna work on the crease using um, the blending brush from BH looks like that so I'm gonna go in with the darker brown ever so lightly and then just try to blend that out I don't want to go all the way in because I want to kind of keep the depth right outside of the outer eye like so and we'll clean that up later um, I'm starting to notice that it does have a little bit of fallout which eh, I guess it's doable I mean if you're gonna go back light is killing me. That. I'm gonna add a little bit more depth with by using the 
black color here just on the outer part of my eye. Just to add a little bit more drama. And I know it's daytime, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, but you know what? There are no rules to make up. You're supposed to have fun with it, so let's have some fun. So now that's done, I'm gonna go in with my um, with my still dome brush from Makeup Geek. And I'm just gonna kind of blend all that together. I'm gonna go with my highlight and get the lightest color, which will be this color right here. kind of too natural for me so I need to get another one uh, found it. so sorry okay so obviously my um, eyeshadow broke but this is the what color is this snow from Sally girl and this color is so pretty like I love using it using it using it on my um, inner corner and on my highlight so I'm gonna do that now yeah wait I'm going to go back to my palette and I'm gonna take this shimmery peachy color here is it this one no it's this one it's the bottom one this peachy color right here and apply that with the brush Pack that on. Ah, let's see. It looks pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my um, Kevin Aquara um, eyeliner pen. I'm gonna turn my mirror. Hopefully, I can do this right. That's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mirror from here and apply my eyeliner. Hopefully I'm getting this on camera. And I'm just doing a very thin line. Like 
jacked because this thing is coming out jacked up. It's like when you're used to a certain method, especially when you're not working in front of a camera. It doesn't come out the exact same way. Which is fine. We all make mistakes, so... Let me just make sure. Let me fix the outer. Then I'm gonna go ahead with my e.l.f. Uh, eyelash curler and I'm gonna just curl, press, hold, squeeze, two, three, let go. Do the same, squeeze, hold, two, three, let go. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. First time using it, going to see how it works. This is what the brush looks like. So far, so good. I like it so far. but I might need um, to add more. I like the brush though. Eh. I'm gonna go with my Voluminous Carbon Black and add some on top of that. Then I'm gonna go in with my Kemino Qua mascara. This is what the brush looks like. This one is a little bit more wet, takes a little bit more time to dry. But look at that difference. I love this mascara. Okay, I think that's good. Then I am going to add my um, NYX White Jumbo Pencil as my eyeliner. And then I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet, Black Velvet Eyeliner Pencil that I got from Ipsy and just add a little bit on the bottom. It makes the white pop out more. Kind of gives you kind of like that doll effect. I'm going to take my Ulta Voluminous Volant, wait. Ulta Voluptuous Volume Mascara and I'm going to apply this on the bottom of my lashes. This is what the brush looks like. Okay. Kind of gets a little getting used to. I'm gonna go in with my City Color Be Matte Blush. I'm gonna zoom out of this a little bit. And with my blush brush. 